hi hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be sharing with you all how i achieved this boss braid this beautiful boss braid so let us dive right in i already washed my hair as you can see so i'm going to start um patting the hair starting from the back yeah because that's the most difficult come on so why not get the difficult part out of the way I didn't bother to show in details how I parted this section smoothly before putting it to a rubber band because I later took it down. Right now, I'm trying to part my hair into a big section. I will part it smoothly, you know, so the line will be... Okay, I wanted to say straight, but no, this is not a straight line. This is a curved line. I will part the hair smoothly then afterwards i will put the other part into a bun apply my shine and jam and then go in again with a pointed tip comb to give it a smoother look a crepsier look okay and after that i'll go ahead and take down those hair i put into a rubber band earlier then divide it again so the line will be more equal okay after the, um, um, parting the hair, I will go ahead and divide this part into two and put into a rubber band. I got to say this now before you guys see it later and will be like, when did this happen? Okay, for these two hair I'm putting into a rubber band, I later made it to be three. I don't know if you get me. As you can see, it's two now, but when I was done with the whole hair, I took the braid down yeah it was after i was done with the braids i took it down and sectioned it into three because this line i'm parting now is sectioned into four and it won't be nice for this part to be four and the down the down is just um two making it unable to be properly in a brick form because i want this braid to be in a brick form in a block in a brick block form So I'm done patting the hair. As you can see, they are all in brick block form, aside from the last two at the down, which I'll correct later. The first thing I will do here is to part the hair in the middle, that is the center parting, using my nose as a guide. And after that, I'll go in with my um, jam, my shine and jam for easy parting then go in again with my pointed tip comb after that i will put one side of the parted hair into a bun then go ahead and start parting the other side um so i will be parting this other side into three sections This is the first section. The first section I will divide into two, as you can see, then put into rubber band as usual. But I'll be bringing out my edges so that you know we can do that baby look at the end. <laughs> yeah. For this section i'll be parting my hair into three and don't forget it should be in a brick block form yeah boss braids are more cute when they are in a big block form And I'll be dividing this slack section for this part into four. The same rule applied to the other parts. Yeah. 
Bye bye. I'm done patting the whole hair. Yes, yes, yes. I'm done patting the whole hair. Guys, I applaud myself for a job well done. I really did a great job patting this hair. Seriously, like I did this by myself. By myself. Come on. If you don't applaud me, I will applaud myself, okay? <laughs> So guys, this is the extension I'll be using to braid my hair. As you can see, it has been pre-stretched and it is an ombre hair. <laughs> I love the color combination so much. And each pack comes with um, six sets of um, extensions. I'll be patting each set of the extension into five. Before I start braiding my hair, I'll moisturize each strand of hair or each um, parted hair with this leave-in conditioner. This is one strand of braiding hair. I divided each set of the extensions into. This is how I will be twisting my finger around each extension, around each braiding hair before putting it onto my hair, then start braiding away. Guys, I can't describe how I'm doing this. I can't describe what I'm doing, but don't worry. I will show more of this. So stay tuned so you understand clearly. So this part of the video is going to be on a slow-mo so you understand better. You see how I parted this hair into these strands of hair into three. Okay into three yeah then i will twist my finger around it yeah then put onto my hair and started braiding don't worry guys i will explain more why braiding another hair um you know i told you all that i parted each set of the extension into five yeah so each one of those five um, sets those five um, strands I removed small strands of hair. That is what I'm adding to my hair now. I don't know if you guys get me. I don't want the the braid to be bulky from the roots. I don't want the braid to be really really bulky from the roots. So I remove um a piece of the braid. I remove a piece of the extension, some strands of the extension. Why I braided with um small strand? Okay, don't worry. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here. So this is what I'm talking about. For every section extension, I remove some strands and set aside why I braid with this quantity, okay? So you see, if you notice, there is the smallest parts of this um, hair, of this extension I'm twisting around my finger. That is the one I will place directly on my hair. That is the extension that will go with my hair. The rest of the extension will stand on their own. I don't know if you get me. It will go with my hair because it's already a small quantity. Okay. So I will braid for a while. Then go ahead and add that small um, strands of extension I set aside earlier. Then start braiding out. Okay. Hopefully you understand me. Hopefully you get what I'm trying to explain here. As soon as I was done braiding all the hair, I called it a day because it was already getting late. I didn't start the hair on time. I started very late, so that was why I couldn't finish it all in a day. I trimmed the hair with a pair of scissors. So right now, I'm dipping it into hot water to make it more sleek, to make it more straight and all that good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> 
So baby girl has gone to freshen up as you can see she have done her makeup already so right now i'm trying to lay my edges my edges can be really stubborn these edges it, it really took a toll on me but that notwithstanding we got to do what we got to do okay so yeah i'm done with it and i'm applying my mousse to give it extra shine extra crispiness you know all of that good stuff yeah <laughs> So guys, I remember I told you all that I was going to resection that last line, that last part of hair. It was formerly two, but right now it's three. Look at that. Come on, just take a good look at her. <laughs> Someone is feeling herself. I mean, can you blame her? Can you? Can you? <laughs> this hair is giving me so much life. Just look at this beautiful hair. On a beautiful girl <laughs> so we've come to the end of this video please subscribe if you haven't thumbs up if you haven't and see you in my next one